Good morning. Will Babylon sink and not rise? Our reading today is the last reading in chapter 51, and that will be verses 59 through 64. The word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Sariah, the son of Neriah, the son of Messiah, when he went with Zedekiah the king to Judah, to Babylon, in the fourth year of his reign, and Sariah was the quartermaster. So Jeremiah wrote in a book all the evil that would come upon Babylon, all these words that are written against Babylon. And Jeremiah said to Sariah, When you arrive in Babylon and see it, read all these words. Then you shall say, O Lord, you have spoken against this place to cut it off so that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but it shall be desolate forever. Now it shall be when you have finished reading this book that you shall tie a stone to it and throw it out into the Euphrates. Then you shall say, Thus Babylon shall sink and not rise from the catastrophe that I will bring upon her, and they shall be weary. Thus far the words of Jeremiah. So when Jeremiah completes these prophecies, and we've had a couple of dozen of these looking at the prophecies against Babylon, when Jeremiah completes that, he's instructed to take those prophecies about Babylon, gather it all up into one document, and take it out and have it be thrown into the river Euphrates, which runs right through Babylon. Now we can tell from the text that these prophecies are to be read out loud. Maybe they were read out loud on the very streets of Babylon. So they're read out through and through and then gathered up and thrown into the river. And some people have wondered about this because they said, well, if that was thrown in the river, then how do we still have the book of Jeremiah? But it's very true, and we find it all the way back in chapter 36 in this very book, Jeremiah. There were not only the original copy, but there are multiple copies made of, of these prophecies of Jeremiah. So what, what happened was that one of those copies was taken and duly copied out, taken, read right there at Babylon, and thrown into the river as a final object lesson against against all that Babylon stands for. So there you have Jeremiah's many prophecies that God had him give against Babylon. We've gone through them all, and now it's going to be thrown in the river, another lesson. Babylon will ultimately fall and not rise. The things that it stands for, all those things, will be shown to be ultimately destructive to all human life. And so Babylon will be no more forever. All human endorsement of evil will be withdrawn. There'll be nobody left kind of sitting on the fence. Everybody's chosen good or evil. And those that let God show them the truth, they will be completely undeceived. There'll be no more reason for Babylon ever to continue or the confusions and the sorrows and the coercions and the manipulations that go with Babylonianism. God will close the book. So we've finished now this very extraordinary section in the book of Jeremiah and as we continue to follow the chronology tomorrow morning, we'll be continuing and we'll back up over there to chapter 27 and try to pick up in the frame of time where would what would come next. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. But hey, let's pray first before we complete. Dear Father in heaven, Babylon is a story of, of human hubris, of error, of coercion, uh, all ending with the destruction of Babylon. We thank you, God. Thank you. For although you've allowed this to run so that we could see, thank you for ending it forever, very soon now. Oh, Lord, help us to forsake all the things of Babylon and receive all the things of your peace and become followers of you, followers of your son, Jesus. Bless us and be with us through this day, knowing that eternity is not a, a, just a continuing cycle of nonsense, but Lord, you bring things from from one space to another. You bring things from a beginning to a conclusion, and you're rapidly now bringing us toward that conclusion. Thank you for it. Help us be ready for it now, Lord. May we be on Jesus' side. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So God is working his plan to show what evil is and to show that unselfish love is the only way. Let's live that way today. God be with you this day.